hopefully this isn't a terrible view. So I miss, kind of miss from my Mark 7, you had like the divorced headrest and I had like a GoPro mount that would go in this area and uh, it'd be nice for videos like this, but just put the windows up. Just wanted to, you know, do a little video on how these coilovers ride. I have them set to 10 clicks out of 24. Um, so we're a little under half. I found that these have been great for daily driving. I do like my car a little on the stiffer side. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just so used to having like a car that, you know, you're able to jerk around quite easily. I don't know if you guys can even see these bumps on the road. Before, um, with the, with the springs and the stock struts, those bumps right there, you would, you would have hit bump stop. So like that right there alone it is great. And there's a couple spots on the highway that I'll make sure I record those before it's like a transition in the highway where it kind of goes down and comes back up quick. Um, yeah, that was like, every day was like brutal. And sometimes I wasn't, I forget, forgot where it was. And, uh, I'd hit it at like 84 mile an hour and I'd have to like pause my music and like listen and feel for vibrations. Like then I bend a wheel, like you just hit so dang hard. Um, right here's a, a decent bump. We don't ever really hit this at speed. And, uh, of course, we're about to come up on five minutes of traffic at this one light, but I will flick you guys back on right after that. And we're back. There's a couple bumps up here. God, it's such a nice day. We've had like pretty crappy weather in the past week or so, and today it's back up into the 70s. It says 75 on the dash. Beautiful. And then tomorrow it's back down to like 50. Yeah, um, so we went with 10K front, 8K rear. Uh, that was suggested by James at EQT. I had asked him, I reached out, I said, buddy, what spring rates do you think I should go with? You know, I like it a little bit on the stiffer side, but I do daily drive the car and autocross and drag racing. He said 8, 8 8K, 10K, so that's what your boy got. Um, I still haven't even, I haven't even put the car at full stiff yet. Um, maybe I should do that tomorrow being Friday just to like, see maybe i'll continue this video tomorrow and of course now we're back up here to uh you know what we'll skip there's a way to go around here just i wish my oil my oil is never warm enough leave them work you know right away so i'd love to come through and bomb this at like very illegal speeds but the car is super stable it feels great even with, you know, I took all that camber out. I was daily driving at negative 3.7 up front. And uh, now we're at a degree all around. And it was at 2 point something in the rear. I think 2.1. Um, and the car still feels like really good. Here's a nice bump. I mean, that was big. That was a pit. I'd have to like slow down or drive around that bump before. So it's crazy how good these are. I'm not, I, I'm not paid to say any of this. Like I would tell you guys if it's shit. Um, just like the, the rear adjustability of these, there's no locking part on the collar. So when you go to try and spin, you have no way to like counter hold and the whole thing spins with the spring. Not a fan. But other than that, install was great. Everything else just adjusts fine. The spots where you, you know, do your adjustments for the dampening, perfect. Um, God, and it just feels so good. Like I expected like kind of more of a rougher ride I didn't know what to expect with, you know, uh, these, what are they called, pillow ball, camber plates. A lot of people complain about, not these specifically, but, you know, those types of plates making a lot of noise. And uh, I can tell you what, it, it's reduced my NVH. It's reduced, uh, like I said, like tough bumps and stuff. Um, it's smoother. It's, it's just, everything about it's so good. I and mean, you get these DCC deletes. Um, as you can see, I'm in dynamic, which is sport for us. We'll go to drive select, individual, go to comfort, go to auto, back to dynamic, no codes, any mode. I've never, I haven't had any errors at all since I put them in. Uh, what else? Oh, you can see, oh, that's auto. Uh, traction control goes off as it should. The DCC deletes the Asian garage. Very, very good. 
the only time will tell, you know, one year, two year, three years from now, how they're holding up. But uh, like out here, it doesn't really rain. We're never gonna see snow with these, as long as we live here, here at least. So, I mean, I mean, it got down, the wind chill the other day was, it was down to nine degrees in the morning, and it was, I mean, they didn't get any errors. And I don't know if that would really have anything to do with anything, but um, yeah, so far, so great. Like I said, I like them, I like them a lot. But uh, God, the traffic is just so terrible. I wanna be able to open it up a little bit for you guys, but I guess we'll pause again. It's about to get all stupid up here. Up here is that bump, I think, and traffic is just slowing down again. So there's not much to really show you there. It's kind of hard to even, you'd have to see the bump to know anyway, I guess, really. But whatever. These cold overs are the shit. I, I'm just, I'm super happy with them. I People are asking me, how do they compare to my BCs? Well, I don't really remember. Um, it's been years since I, I rode on the BCs. I don't remember having any issues with the BCs. I also had Swift Springs on the BCs, but they were both, I think it was 8K, 6K or something like that with those. Um, so it wasn't as stiff. And I think they had 30 clicks of adjustment and not 24. Um, that's all I really remember. I don't remember having any noise from the camera plates on those either. Um, those those were great. They were, they were good when I had them on the car. That car was lighter. That car I got down to 28. 50 pounds and this is like probably 3300 i need to go out and get a weight to really know but um, and also these coilovers are lighter than the stock struts by four pounds with racing lens springs so um at least the fronts i didn't uh weigh the weird the way the rear stuff because i totally forgot but uh there is a further on hopefully it's it's clear and i can rip on the car and there's like a bump and a turn so maybe we can get on it a little bit there show you guys a little bit of something but yeah I mean I think tomorrow I'll put it on full stiff and let you guys know what I think about that when I first took the car for a drive I had it on full soft and it was super soft I mean it felt like a like a Cadillac just hitting the waves but that is not how I like to feel that is I like it I like to feel like ready ready to fight at any minute you know not really fight but you know hit a, hit a nice turn or you know be able to click down a few down shifts and race whoever on the highway without being all like floaty mcgoaty in the seat so yeah all right i guess i'll uh plug you guys back in again later on down now we can rip on it big bumps leading up this way too so you gotta watch out because people dumb out of this spot slow down get a little brake boost action for us I didn't really go over it um, he popped. Uh, while I was doing my inner or my intercooler my coolovers I decided to take a look at my intercooler and stuff because Ed has been saying my turbo is working a little bit harder I was like that doesn't make sense after putting the blaze in um, he's like I might have a boost leak I'm like what you know and of course Ed was right um, I go around I'm tightening all my clamps one of them was like turned a little bit so I was like let me loosen it and reposition it for better access go to tighten it I'm tightening I'm tightening I'm doing it just by hand with a you know with a ratchet it just keeps going and going and going I'm like what in the hell so I go I back it off a couple turns and it pops in the back of it it like pulled itself out so that clamp must have been like pulled out and not it was staying together but not really keeping any pressure on the on the hose so Anytime I'd hit like 30 pounds, it would it would like bleed boost down to 26. I would hold 26, but it wouldn't hold 30. 
Like, it, it would hit 30 and, like, you know, on a pull real quick, and then it would drop down to 26 and hold that. So I thought, out like, 26, 27 was where Ed wanted it. But uh, I, I didn't know. Then the, the data log, the re requested boost was not what I need to be looking at. I need to be looking at, like, requested torque or something and then seeing actual and that showed me that where the graph split and that I wasn't making uh, what I was supposed to so I learned that in the process but uh, yeah the car's holding freaking 30 pounds and I don't know how long I've had that boost leak for so did, did I run an 8.3 uh, 60 to 130 with a boost leak of 4 pounds did I run an 11.08 on the street with a boost leak of 4 pounds I don't know so we're gonna have to go out and uh, really test that. Now these coilovers are on. What I need to do is either bring Kaylin out with me or one of the boys and record. I need someone to record my launches and then go in and adjust the struts and record again and do that, you know, at, at low, medium, and high on the struts and then kind of see how the car reacts to launches better. And also, you know, playing with tire pressure. And, and figure out how we want the struts to sit for for drag racing stuff. So that's something I'd like to do. This weekend I work guard duty, but maybe the weekend after, if the weather's decent, it's supposed to rain a bunch this week. So definitely coming. Uh, I'd like to do it today. That would be great, but I have a daughter and dinner and you know a life during the week. So as you can see, it's already 4.30 and I'm still not home yet. And this traffic is just miserable but there's some like really crappy patches of road coming up and hopefully I don't think you guys can really see yeah you probably can't see but they're like I mean they are rough and that was like my test in the last video going over those real nasty bumps maybe I'll grab the camera and hold it up here to show you guys how gross they are but uh, I mean it doesn't it, it, uh, you need to see it in person and feel the car to really get that you know get 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 what I'm getting at for how good these are but uh, anyway, we'll, we'll show you anyway coming up here there's two of them of course we get a red light oh green light so here's the first one not terrible and this one's bad I used to like bottom out in that. It would boom, 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 boom. It'd be so, I'd have to like slow down and swerve. And you know, with the amount of traffic that's here, it's just, it's hard to avoid stuff like that. So every day I was smashing that pothole. It was miserable. So now look, there's a, there's a Mark 8 GTI. Hello, sir. Um, I drove to and now from work with the suspension all the way high, like I said I was going to yesterday. And this morning I didn't even realize until I was almost to work, I was like, oh yeah. Cause, I, Cause that's where the roads are the worst, is near work, near the airport. And uh, I was like, oh yeah, no wonder it feels different. I turned them all the way up. Um, definitely wouldn't daily like this. They are a bit stiffer. It's not like super uncomfortable or super unbound, or super, excuse me, bouncy or anything. It's just, not what you would want on the highway and, and normal roads it's definitely stiffer um like if you were going out on like a canyon run with your buddies uh, i could see you doing doing this uh, like some real spirited driving but for daily definitely not i mean who would have guessed full stiff would be not the best comfort for daily driving everybody so but it feels good like the car feels uh feels nice i might actually start somewhere near this for autocross and then just lower it until I feel feel good. But uh, yeah, I think tomorrow I'll just go full soft and actually drive it to and from work. I have drill this weekend, so maybe I'll just go full soft and, and see what that's like. I only did like one kind of loop around the block at full soft when I first put these on just to see what it was like. But it'll be interesting flipping it around and, and seeing uh, the difference. No idea why my camera cut off. Camera? said that real funny um but this like full stiff definitely induces some confidence like it feels like you could just be out here like zip zooming through traffic if it wasn't bumper to bumper or you know on a track and just feel feels good it feels really good i don't know how it actually feel on track probably actually well it depends on the type of track you're on i guess but 
I do like it. It does feel good, but I wouldn't want to do this for like hours or every single day. But uh, definitely feels way better than sport or dynamic mode with the DCCs. Um, this definitely feels better than that. I tried to do this from my GoPro, but it decided to just not work. So, uh, yesterday and today, we've been riding around on the softest setting with these coilovers, these struts, and wow. Um, I probably should have been doing this the whole time. Um, it's insanely smooth, like crazy good, especially for, you know, city highways and, and kind of crappy roads to and from different like going on the base or going on you know to where I work near the airport and stuff it just gets really crappy for some reason they don't really take care of those roads and it, it just it takes these these hits like a champ and on the highway the different transitions and you know potholes and man hover or man covers and, and you know, all that stuff it just takes it so good it is so it's like addictingly smooth like I'm almost like gravitating to hit bumps just to see how well it takes them um it's it's so good it's really seriously great and uh yeah i just i don't really don't even know what else to say right there in the middle like i said there's 24 units of adjustment of adjustment right there in the middle is really good like confidence inspiring daily but if you're just like like crappy weather like today just cruising you're just getting from point a to point point B you wouldn't race even if a, a car came up on you because it would spin it's 39 degrees out and wet this is like the perfect just cruising chilling road tripping uh just absorbing those imperfections in the road like nothing I love it this is this is phenomenal honestly uh, just, just, these adjustments go way softer and way more stiff than uh the DCC ever did and uh and I couldn't be happier, honestly. It's 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 really great. It really truly is great. I'm not paid to say this or anything like that. Um, yeah. So if, I mean, really, honestly, if you're on the uh, the fence about getting these balance line coolovers, I would definitely just go for it. These are freaking dope. And if you do get them, tell them I sent you. Uh, yeah. I mean, this is pretty much the end of my drive. So. We'll call this the end of the video. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. There will be videos coming soon where we go out. Um, I'll either set the camera up on the side of the road or have somebody else come out with me. Then we'll adjust the dampeners and do launch control with the draggy and do some data logs and all, all the things you guys really want to see. But just weather hasn't been, been my friend. Next weekend, I get surgery. I get a vasectomy. So nothing's going on next weekend. I don't know what, uh, how we're going to fill that week's video yet, but we'll figure something out. Anyway, be on the lookout for more cool shit, and I'll uh, catch you on the flip-flop.